sooner or later, rotations always come to an end. Everything connected to the hottest trends in tech sold off hard yesterday. Not because anything's really wrong with these companies, but because the Senate's passage of the tax bill suddenly made a bunch of other sectors, mostly domestic players like the retailers and restaurants and banks, seem a lot more attractive. But the themes that were fabulous a week ago remain fabulous today. And sooner or later, they'll come back into vogue on the Wall Street fashion show. They always do. Take Cyrus One, which is symbol C-O-N-E for all you home gamers. It's a real estate investment trust that provides its customers with mission-critical data center facilities. Basically, it's a play on these massive server farms. And given the tremendous growth of the cloud, I think that the long-term story here is very much intact. But Cyrus One stock tumbled 6% yesterday. It's all part of this rotation. And even though it bounced a bit today, I have to wonder if you're getting an incredible deal here, especially since the company's latest quarter was pretty darn strong. And they recently announced a game-changing partnership with GDS, the big Chinese data center firm. So let's take a closer look with Gary Wotazic. He is the president and CEO of Cyrus One. Find out more about how the company's doing where it's headed. Gary, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank thanks, you. Have a seat. Me back. Right, Gary, one of the reasons why we've had this sell-off is a belief that somehow the cloud and da data centers, they peaked. That there's really yeah. not going to be a uh, need for any more and that we're about as far as we've gotten. You would have a better handle on that than anyone. True That's or right. false? False. Okay. Yeah. Tell me why. Uh, you know, if you just look this quarter, every, every single company, whether it was Amazon, Microsoft, Oracle, Salesforce, everyone exceeded their, uh, their expectations for the quarter, and we're a derivative of that space. So, right. so it's not slowing down. You know, we see this, as I mentioned before, in the early stages of a trend that's going to go on for a decade. And the verticals are all good, and the geographies are all good. Absolutely. Yeah, we had one of our strongest uh, sales bookings quarter ever in terms of the number of different industry verticals that we sold through to geographies and, mm -hmm. and closed five new Fortune 1000 companies this uh, this quarter, which is one of the strongest we've ever had. As big as it is in the U.S., uh, the opportunity, China, which you just did with this GDS deal, is remarkable in that you're talking about it being almost no penetration in the cloud in China yet. Oh, it's, you know, you, you, you have the fangs here, they got yes. the tabs there, right? Okay. So between Tencent, Alibaba, and uh, Baidu, they kind of dominate that yeah. space. GDS is the primary provider to all of those companies. So, so while our business is growing really quick, mm -hmm. GDS is, is the fastest growing company in the world right now. And you know, the, the nascency of the Chinese market is really just you know, the, first, the first inning there. So. What, what I thought was interesting was that there's cross-pollination. That's uh, right. We get, do work there, they do work here, and you're at the fulcrum of yeah. it. Yeah, so I, I met uh, William, the CEO, last year when he IPO'd, and uh, I met him and, and Dan, the CFO, over the last year. And uh, we had several meetings, and we realized that we were basically the same company. The way we engage our customers, that we sell to them, you know, we have a dominant position in cloud like they do, and we thought there was an opportunity to work together. And we bought an 8% stake in them, and it's up 60% since we, uh, since we purchased this. Now, not, can you just bad. hold on to it? We have found yeah. that some of the Chinese companies, uh, we wish that we had people sell them, or is this mm -hmm. one you just want to own yeah. long term? We, want to, we did it strategically okay. because of the bigger opportunity to help their customers grow into the U.S. You know, you had Jack Ma right. earlier today. Big ambitions yes. globally. Uh, same thing with our cloud customers. They want to expand in China. So both of our companies are trying to help each of our respective companies or customers grow in each other's countries. Now, you were real estate constrained the previous time we talked. Uh, you've been able to put up enough property to be able to right. make it so that you can uh, continue to uh, gain both gain share and also yeah. increase rent, right? Yeah, we, we were basically sold out in the four you know, leading markets that we had from about the fourth quarter of last year. So this last quarter, we brought on you know, close to 800,000 square feet of capacity right. in, the, in the biggest markets that we have. So we're heading into the year, into 18, with a really strong position. Lots of inventory right. available. We got some more coming online, so we Can feel I, good about it. Why would there be a perception among people when you see these rotations that, that we're further along and that perhaps everybody who's on the cloud is on the cloud? Yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's really just a lack of understanding. You know, okay. the, you know, the, 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 the enterprise market is about a trillion dollar market. Right. Cloud is maybe 40 billion of that. So it's a 4%, 5% penetration. It's gonna get up to 60 or 70 over the next decade. And I don't think people realize, you know, how early we are in this, uh, in this outsourcing trend. Okay, last question. What do we do about security? How should, how, where should we be? How much time do you spend on it? How much money do you have to spend on it? Uh, it? It's becoming a much, much bigger issue. I mean, outside of reliability, you know, the, the, all these facilities always need to be up and running. Security is the biggest issue. We spend a lot of time and effort making sure that all the physical security that we put up, because we don't really touch the logical security, right. 
um, is is basically you know up to speed. So biometric scanners, you know physical perimeters, you know armed security guards, that sort of thing. That's what we're providing to our customers. Well, look, you got a great growth, but I'm, I'm glad you cleared that up. I mean, you know, I've just I've heard too many people in the last yeah. 40 hours say, Jim, the reason why we're having rotation is because it's done. Yeah. That is silly. No, you know. It, not at all. <laughs> okay. That's Gary Wojtasek. He's president and CEO of Cyrus One. And look, at least we solved one issue, which is as underpenetrated as the United States, it's far less penetrated in China. They have money's back after the break. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.